In this video, we're going to learn how to adjust K-Rain's RPS Select Rotor. It's a very unique rotor. It's got some great features to it. And I've got another longer video. We go into some depth and talk about all of the selections and all of the details and everything on it. We're just going to talk about how to adjust this one here. We're going to talk about two things. The arc, which is the side-to-side -side oscillation, the pattern. And this one is right limit fixed, which means that the right limit is set in the body of the head and the gears. And then we're going to use our adjustment mechanisms to adjust the left limit of the arc. And then we're going to talk about the radius, which is how far the head is shooting out. And then we can shorten that up with this head. But let's talk about the top of the head first. Here at the 12 o'clock position at the top is an arrow. That's also where you're going to see the breakup screw. And that's what we're going to use to shorten up our radius. We'll run that screw down in there until it impedes the flow of water and shortens it up. Here in the middle, directly below that, is the nozzle selection screw. We'll talk about that just in a second. This nozzle selection screw is important to the, this head and how it allows you to select for match precipitation rates. Here basically at the nine o'clock position is the lift spot to where we're going to insert the little cross top of our K-Rain tool in there and that's what we're going to pull the head up with. We'll see that in just a second. Here at the bottom at the six o'clock position is our arc adjustment slot. And if we turn that clockwise, it's going to add to our arc. If we turn it counterclockwise, it's going to take away from the arc or subtract. And then here at the three o'clock position is just an indicator that tells us what our arc is currently set on. So let's talk about the nozzle selection. That's what makes this really unique. And MAC precipitation rates is a concept that if you don't understand that and you're in the irrigation business, please go to my other videos uh, on match precipitation rate and go through that. It's a pretty important concept, but this head makes it very easy to select that. We have position number one, which is basically if you're going to put this in a 90 degree arc, you would select number one. If you were going to put it into a 180 degree arc, you would put it into number two. A 270 degree arc, which is basically three quarter pattern, would be number three. And number four would be a 360 degree pattern. There's also a range here that I'll show you here on the screen that uh, you can use to select your arcs if you're in something other than the, the standard adjustments. But let's take a look at that adjustment now. I've removed the rotor here so we can take a better look at it. And if we take our tool and put it here into the lift slot and pull up, that's how we're going to look at this and access this. But if we put our flathead screwdriver here into our nozzle selection slot, if we look down in there, we can see that the nozzle is turning and giving us larger uh, flow through larger orifices here. And this is better to select while it's dry and not running because if you don't want to damage this, it's a lot tougher to do while the head is running. So let's put this back on here and do an adjustment on it. Okay, so our right limit is fixed on this head, and if we want to adjust it, now we can see what our pattern is here, and we can quickly look at it by using the top of the head to twist it around. Now, don't be fooled into thinking that shows you exactly where the pattern is. You have to watch it happen with your own eyes. I turn it around about 75% of the way, let the gears engage, and then it's going to swing it around to its limit. You can see where the limit really is and then adjust it. Okay, we see it there. And so if we want to adjust it, we're going to reach in here and grab this part of the shaft here. It's not turning, only the top part of the rotor. And we can turn this, hopefully if the ground's not terribly condensed or, or, or grabbing this too hard here, which is the case a lot of times with clay. But then if we can, we are going to turn this with our hand. And if we can't, then what we need to do is dig up the top of the head. Now, generally, this is going to be buried to here. So we want to just dig up the top like two inches of it and either reach in with our hand or with, with a pair of channel lock pliers. And then we can turn it and get our right limit where we want it. And then if we want to adjust our left limit, let's see what we've got here. A little bit this way. 
Okay, we see what our pattern is there. Let's take away from it. So let's put our tool in here and go counterclockwise, and we're going to remove from the arc. So we see how it's shortened there. And now if we turn it clockwise, we can add back to that arc. We see it's adding more to it. And if we want to shorten up our radius or how far our water is being thrown, we take the flat part of our tool here, the screwdriver tip, and put it on our breakup screw. And then we can run it down in there until it actually breaks up the flow. And what that does is flatten it and shortens the radius.